All right, here we are, Vic Camp again in the garage game room working on the Super Score. <clears throat> this is going to be probably part seven video, but uh, this game is uh, really unexpectedly giving me a lot of surprises and not good ones. So uh, I'm going to have to mention that the uh, In this trip bank, which is uh, for the A, B, C targets, and uh, it's a reset relay in there, I found, you're not going to believe this, but uh, over here, I took it out. I found these items here. This item here is metal. That's part of a broken metal yoke that goes on the pop bumper. There's the hole for the rod that passes through. This piece here was jammed <laughs> into I can't really show you now because I have this position I'm cleaning this trip bank but I'll explain it to you. This metal flap right here that I'm pointing at, this metal plate that pulls the relay in like so, had that metal, that metal piece was jammed up down in here behind the metal piece and the, the, the coil. There's a space between there that the coil connects to the, the metal plate when it's pulled in. It's, it was jammed in there. So hopefully you can see that down in here with my pointer. Jammed in there. Then when I get back to this also, this staple, this rusty old staple, was jammed in <laughs> somewhere in there because when I started mechanically moving manually mechanically moving this trip bar lever that damn thing fell down into the cabinet there and it came out so I don't know exactly where this thing was jammed up in there but it was jammed up for sure so some of the problems I might have been having pertain to this thing this that and also this screw was I was found in there located in the bottom of the Uh, trip back there. Sorry I'm moving so fast. But anyway, these three items again, all metal, stuck inside. So all the way down here is where I found that screw. Back in here on this ledge part. There's a stuck in there. So, uh, with that being said, I'm sorry my finger just got in the way. It's hard to operate with one, with one uh, hand. But yes, amazingly enough, I found them, of course, when I started inspecting it. There's that coil back there. Now you can see the space behind there where that metal half a yoke that broke right down in there broke down in there and got wedged in also i noticed back here this coil was hanging behind the this is the player unit here i found this coil right here hanging and that coil goes to back here you can probably see the hole back there i don't know if you can see that hole there it is that hole right there it gets mounted a a bracket that holds the 10 point bell so the 10 point bell is missing the brackets missing and the coil was hanging so I found that also this spring in there you see that large spring I mentioned in one of my other videos was wrapped around the that pin there was stretched and jammed there was no credits being shown it couldn't move the credit wheel so I solved that problem 
and also I'm going to go over some other stuff I found in the head back here was these relays were squashed. Some of these relays were taken out of the bracket here with this clip, this pin, and then the person probably who was working on it jammed it in, couldn't get it back in, and just stuffed it in there and smashed all the, the tips of the wires that were soldered on these relays. So uh, that's a couple things that I found. Also, this build looks cooked, but it's not, and I was wanted to mention to you that uh, it was part of that relay problem here it was making there's a switch on one of the hundred point relays that makes this bell get energized this coil and that plunger was just stuck humming and then when I found the game we had that in the beginning on the, another video this wire was off this white wire so that's what that was about the Previous owner probably pulled it off knowing that he was cooking that coil and it was smoking maybe and hot, but it does function because we did, you know, test it before. And uh, I found all these score reels, all the clips, these clips that hold the relays in and the score reels right here. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. There they are. All these clips here that are on these relays here. There's another one and another one. All these clips were missing on all eight bottom score reels. So I had to just, for now, just stick some toothpicks in there to keep them still while I was troubleshooting them. You can see the toothpicks in there hanging through there. There's a toothpick. I put them all the way through. I don't know if you can really see that. There's a couple toothpicks. But anyway, just to fix it temporarily and, and, and continue to troubleshoot and repair this game and get this game working. So in video part six, the one previously to this one, we did have the play field all lit up and the flippers going and the thing was scoring. But again, like I said, I thought I was getting close, but not necessarily. This trip bank is even a little bit uh, corroded there on the bar. That's because the mouse mice were in here and I'm now cleaning and polishing every single switch so that's where I'm at now and I just wanted to show you oh I got the rubber band just holding that back because I needed flex like that so that's a nice little move and also this is one of my favorite tools for EM pinball machines and it's just a wooden stick it has a point on one end and it has a flat end on the other end. And this can get right into the switch to point. I'll show you what I'm doing here. It gets right in where that contact, there's a rivet there and you'd be able to hold that and file with the file and clean the switches. So I, I use this here inside to clean all the switches it's beautiful so your fingers are never going to get in there but this can get in there you can hold back on things while you use your file your flex stone or whatever file you're using it's a fantastic tool probably my favorite tool without it you can never do any of these contacts cleaning inside these trip bank especially because as you can see these trip bank switches the stacks are kind of jammed in there and once you get your game and you look inside you'll see what I mean they're hard to clean so this that little wooden stick works wonders so anyway with that being said I'm gonna cut this video off I'm gonna sit down back here on my little chiropractic chair Get in that position and clean these switches every one because uh, they need them bad and that may solve a lot of my problems. I'll restart the game up after I clean these switches. It's going to take some time. There's a lot of switches on that little small bank. You'd be surprised. And uh, I'm glad I found what I found. It's going to help me out for sure. So 
This is Sure Shot. Uh, this is uh, Super Score Part 7. Repair and maintenance.